Congratulations on purchasing your Cowboy Studio gear. Well, let's go ahead and get started and see how we can put it all together. Uh, once we get inside, you'll notice that we have one, two receivers, one transmitter, and one PC sync cord. Now, the PC sync cord is good for studio strobes, something you typically won't be using in the field. Now, let's go ahead and take the three main pieces out. And we'll, we'll take a look at each of these a bit closer, starting with the transmitter. Now you'll notice the transmitter has a test light, and yes, the batteries are included. Well, if you flip it over, this also has a metal connector and a foot. It also has a channel selector. And on the right side, we have a PC sync port option. And again, here's the channel selector. Now let's look at the receivers. Now if you bought two, they are identical. We just need to talk about one. It also has a channel selector, an on and off switch. It also has a shoe that the flashlight's into, a battery compartment, its own foot, and uh, again, a PC sync port option. Now let's go ahead and insert the batteries, uh, which are not included. Now inside the opening is a very small diagram showing how to insert the batteries. It's very easy to remember, however. You simply insert a positive up battery in the right side, and a negative up battery in the left side. To replace the cover, hold the batteries in place firmly, pushing slightly down with your thumb, and slide the cover back into place. Uh, make sure it's seated firmly. Ensure the receiver is turned on and check the channel you're using. Now that channel has to match the channel and the transmitter. If not, nothing's going to work. Go ahead and flip the transmitter over and press the test button. You'll notice that both test lights, the one on the transmitter and the receiver, both fire. Well, this means you've got a connection. To reiterate, you need to install the batteries correctly, check the radio channels to make sure they match, and, en and ensure that the receiver is turned on. Well, the only thing left now to do is to attach it to the flash. So make sure that your flash is turned on, that it's set to manual control, that's pretty important, and that your power is set to its lowest, that way you're not wasting batteries through these tests. Now go ahead and slide your flash onto your receiver. The receiver must be face forward. Go ahead and tighten it down securely and set it down in front of you. Now go ahead and take your transmitter and hit that test button. If everything works well, it should go off. If not, retrace your steps and try to fix the problem. Now the most beautiful thing about these transmitters and receivers, the Cowboy Studio set, is they'll work on pretty much every camera you've got, so long as it has a hot shoe. And we'll go ahead and put it on this Canon here just for our first test. Now again, the transmitter sits securely in the hot shoe of the camera. Push it all the way forward and tighten it. Now make sure that it's face forward as well, just like the transmitter. And go ahead and hit the, sh hit the shutter button several times and you'll see it fires no problem. Now again, the really great part is that we can switch cameras with these. It doesn't have to be Nikon or Canon. So long as the camera has a hot shoe and you've got control, well, you can use it. But here we'll use a small Lumix camera. And again, it's got the same hot shoe as every other camera. And we're going to go ahead and push this forward into the machine and test fire it. Now bear in mind that it does have to have a standard hot shoe. There are some cameras out there that you may need to get an adapter. Typically these only cost about $10, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, well, that's it. You've got your transmitter and your receiver, and now you've got it hooked up to your flash. The rest is simple. Guys, these little things right here is going to change your world. They're going to make the impossible possible in your camera.